Hi, this is John. Would you do it? Now, this is a video that I created in 2010 where I created a lightning detector. It was a little project I did with my son at the time, uh, I don't know, seven years ago. So he was nine years old. And the purpose of this project was to quickly show a visual indication that lightning is occurring. We did this ahead of a storm. And you can see here in this video that uh, lightning occurs right about now. You'll see a peak occur. And then you count for every um, for every five seconds, it's a mile. So you can see I'm counting down. And then we hear thunder. And it was approximately 10 seconds, so that was about two miles away. I'll let the video replay here without my audio overlay. Um, just to see, you know, the difference that seven years and 300 and, or four, actually I'm at 400 videos right now, but you know, I remove a lot of them. I put, put a lot of them up and I remove a lot. Uh, so you get a lot of practice. The more you create, the better you become. So always create, create, create. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and check out my crown molding video. I'll have a link at the end of the video where you can click on the, the crown molding video to go see it. That's where I did uh, crown molding that's recessed with some lighting around it in my son's music studio. Thanks. Okay, what we built here was a, res was a transistor radio on the AM. And what we have is two transistors here and a tuning capacitor. And we have an oscilloscope hooked up to it. And now with the lights out, we're able to look at the oscilloscope and we can tell when lightning occurs. When the lightning occurs, you can see the big peaks in the signal. Every time you see a peak in the signal, that's when there's lightning.